a note on smooth talk. I'll try and talk as smoothly as I can, as in that joke, which has any category you can think of coming into a bar. Well, you see, I'm from here, I'm from there, I'm from the south, I'm from the north, I'm from the east. And the barman says, well, don't worry, I'll, I'll tell it to you slowly, or I'll repeat it until you understand. So I'll, I'll just talk smoothly to be in the no, in, in sync with the material, so to say. Uh, even if smooth talk here uh, means uh, devilish, uh, insinuating, seducing, dishonest talk, really. Uh, not really, I guess, because I'm not sure. Uh, I will venture to introduce a spoiler alert, alert which says basically I don't know what happens at the end. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe something happened. <laughs> there are indications that it might. Then I was looking at the heroine and thinking, yeah, but she, she's not bruised. She's not, I'm. I don't know. Uh, it, it's not good. That's that's my feeling. But um, still, I'm not sure. It's a it's a vague ending. It's it's interesting. It's challenging. Right? And maybe makes viewers think. Uh, having said that, this is not uh, the most intellectual film you can see. Uh, let's not say this is... Uh, Termina! An artsy postmodern take on things which uh, will have you baffled. Wow, what do they mean? What, what's this? It's, it's, uh, was that about the meaning of life? Does it mean always look on the bright side? I'm referring to Life of Brian, of course, and meaning of life uh, by the same marvelous um, Monty Python. Uh, it's the, the, it, the screenplay is based on a story by Joyce Carol Oates. I saw her, a, a quote from her the other day uh, mentioning uh, boycotting this silly guy in the White House on some matters and she was saying something to the effect I think that well with you you can you can uh, do things like that uh, to discourage your enemy you don't have to support your political enemy I, I, as I said I don't, it's not a quote that's my understanding of or that's what I remember from what she said um, the protagonist of this show, of this film, is Laura Dunn. Uh, the daughter of a fabulous actor and wonderful in this film and so many others. Uh, it's a pity that she now has um, minor operations. Uh, I've seen her a few days ago in uh, uh, Little Fockers, where she's uh, headmistress of some sort and... Um, she only has maybe a couple of minutes of uh, screen time, uh, but well, um, I'm I'm hoping and I'm I think she's doing other things in in theater in in, in other uh, domains, if not on screen that much. Um, here she's Connie. She's a 15-year-old, uh, very attractive. Mm, Beautiful, sexy. She's making those in the neighborhood uh, um, dream, have fantasies. Uh, and we also have Treat Williams, who's Arnold Friend, who is the devil, the demon, temptation. I've seen her, as it happens, coincidence, uh, yesterday on confirmation. Uh, the um, take, Hollywood take, on on the case of uh, Clarence Thomas, uh, the Supreme Court judge, who had been accused of, of uh, sexual harassment and other things. And the way that thing proceeded with the Senate hearings, 
we have uh, Greg Kinnear ah. as jo Joseph Biden, until recently the Vice President ah. of the US, a much better choice than the creationists they have today with the ah. orange man. Um, and ah. um, uh, Treat Williams was uh, ah. Senator Kennedy. Here he's Arnold Friend, as I said, and he's coming to the house of, of Connie when the parents are away for a barbecue to which she didn't want to go and she's surely regretting this because there are long minutes when we see her tormented uh, Connie doesn't know how to uh, to deal with the situation there are moments when she's tempted there's this uh, unknown entity she's only 15 we have to keep that in mind she's confused she wants to know about the world this man is talking uh, sometimes like he's reading from the manual of how to win friends and influence people you're so beautiful I think about you when I saw you I, I, I said to myself this this is the girl this is this is the girl you want and we need to take a ride and so smooth talk and she is obviously like anyone uh, that's how you, s you make friends and influence people you talk nice and you listen to them you encourage them <laughs> but then she also uh, uh, the gift of fear that's a classic of psychology uh, one of the 50 best uh, books and it talks there that indeed we have this gift of fear we have we were in situations where we see uh, something's wrong and there are cases in there where people women especially save themselves by listening to this voice of fear and not going further or just uh, running away uh, staying to the side of the road you see what I mean and this gift of fear t tells uh, tells uh, uh, the heroine Connie that um, something's wrong and in fact she's telling this guy why, why, why do you talk like nobody talks like that no you go away you go with your friend he has a guy in the car that's another strange aspect and the alarm bells are there too he doesn't say a word up to the point where what what he says is another more serious uh, uh, loud alarm huge bell uh, shall I cut the telephone wire he's asking uh, Arnold not once but twice Arnold is going back and he, again truth is revealed because he's very angry and that's moved talk to shut up I told you to shut up stay there and the second time that this this girl is playing along so shut shut up stop and she's going to the phone and as I said she doesn't know she she she's curious she would go for a ride she's home she didn't go with the parents she had a conflict with her mother that's also uh, true she has to face with this adversity now she, the mother slapped her because uh, she thinks she's doing wrong things and indeed she she had a thing with a with another young man much younger than this guy who is uh, an adult that's the question of how old he is and he says ah oh, same age as you are Come on. two years old I'm 18 but he's not that's again obvious and uh, it's it's an interesting psychological drama and, and as I said I don't know what happened towards the end <laughs>